to close. The gentleman from New York is. We have no more speakers. I'm also prepared to close. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> we have heard the majority claim over and over that this rule is going to come as a surprise to the gun industry and to those who have purchased stabilizing braces. This is simply not true. There are dozens of videos online of people promoting the use of braces to create short-barreled rifles that circumvent the National Firearms Act. One brace promoter even said the resulting short-barreled rifle could easily fit into a briefcase or a backpack. Let's be clear. The majority is defending the widespread availability, without a background check, of a brace that allows more rifles to easily fit into a backpack. The majority has seen these promotional videos. We watch them in our hearing and in our markup. Yet they continue to seek to invalidate this rule and claim it will come as a surprise. The fact is that those who profit from the sale of these braces have long known that they were circumventing the law. The ATF wrote to one brace manufacturer multiple times over the last 10 years. In 2018, five years ago, the ATF under President Trump told the brace manufacturer that it was engaging in false advertising by claiming devices were ATF approved when in fact the ATF had not even evaluated those devices. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert into the record a July, 20th, 2018, a July 18th, 2018 letter from the ATF to SB Tactical, a brace manufacturer, stating that they must cease the false advertisement of products as ATF approved when they had not even been evaluated, much less approved by ATF. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, the ATF, the agency specifically tasked with regulating dangerous weapons and keeping them out of the wrong hands, underwent a careful review process that began under the Trump administration. The agency determined that gun owners were exploiting a loophole that allowed stabilizing braces to be used to assemble a short-barreled rifle without being subjected to the existing regulations for such highly dangerous weapons. The ATF then issued a rule using the standard administrative process to close this loophole and to protect our communities. There should be nothing controversial about this rule. But Republicans want to overturn this sensible regulation and put more stabilizing braces on the streets and in the hands of more mass shooters. I would remind members that mass shooters have already used stabilizing braces to kill nine people outside a bar in Dayton in 2019, to kill 10 people, including a responding police officer, at a grocery store in Boulder in 2021, to kill five people in an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs last year, and just a few months ago, to kill six people, including three children, at a school in Nashville. Once again, Republicans are putting the interests of the gun industry over the safety of their communities. I urge all members to oppose this dangerous legislation, and I yield back the balance of my time.